Hi, it's Leslie Fightmaster, and welcome to day 79. Oh goodness, 79 already. Today's class will be focusing a lot on our abs and our core muscles. So just sit up nice and tall. And I just want to take a moment here to thank you guys so much for all your comments and your supports. And I just love hearing from you. And thank you for the donations. So helpful. Bring your hands together. Take a moment to set an intention for your practice. And then we'll make our way right into extended child's pose. Extend the arms forward, shoulders distance apart. And then as you exhale, interlace your fingers at your back. Inhale and start to lift up. As you exhale, maybe extend up a little bit higher, but be careful not to lock out your elbows. Release, extend the arms forward again on your inhale. And then as you exhale, interlace again with the other pinky on top. On your exhale again, reach up. Take an inhale, see if you can get more length. Exhale, maybe lift up a little higher, but again, watch those elbows. Reaching forward, come to your knees. Tuck your toes and come into downward facing dog. Arms shoulder distance apart and feet hips width and just start to bend one knee and the other, bicycling the legs. And be sure to press down into the base of the fingers as you lift up through your forearms. And if you can straighten the legs, pull up on the kneecaps and firm your quadricep muscles. Keep your gaze right between the knees or the feet and take inhales and exhales that are equal in length. On your next inhale, make your way into plank pose, top of a push up, shoulders right above the wrists, and tailbone is lengthening toward the heels. And exhale, stretch all the way back. Downward facing dog again. And breathing is all in and out through the nose, your ujjayi pranayama. Inhale, come back into plank pose. Lift the belly, firm the leg muscles. So holding here in plank is wonderful core work. We're working the ab muscles, we're working the thighs and the legs, plus the arms and shoulders. Exhale back into down dog. Keep your steady breath. Come back to plank on your inhale. Lifting away from the floor with your belly, with your shoulders, back so the knees are lifting. And breathing here. Nice steady breath, slowly lower all the way down. On your inhale, little cobra, peel your chest up, pull your shoulder blades toward the waist. Inner thighs lift up. As you exhale, tuck your toes, press up to plank and make your way into downward facing dog. Again, stretching back and then look forward, step your feet up, inhale to lengthen your spine, exhale, fold in, inhale, reach your arms out around and up, exhale, bring your hands to the heart, inhale, circle your arms up, exhale, hinge from your hips and fold. Inhale, lengthen, come halfway up. Exhale, and step back into plank, chaturanga. Inhale, press up through your hands and feet. And exhale, downward facing dog. Allow your arms and your ears to be in the same line so your neck is long and your head is heavy. Keep drawing the low belly in and up. The front ribs are lifting as well. Look up, step or hop the feet, inhale, lengthen your spine, exhale to fold, inhale, root through the feet, rising up, and exhale the hands. Inhale again, sweep up, exhale, fold in. Inhale, halfway up, look up, lengthen, exhale, step or float into Chaturanga. Inhaling to press up, roll the shoulder heads back. Exhale, stretch back into down dog. And breathing here. 
Just doing a nice warm up with our sun salutations to get the the blood moving in the body, get that synovial fluid lubricating our joints so we can have a little more movement in the body before we start to work our core muscles. Look up, step or hop the feet. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to fold. Inhale, sweep your arms out around and up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, sweep the arms. Exhale, hinge from your hips to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or float back into Chaturanga. Inhale, pressing up. And exhale, lift the hips and stretch all the way back. Get as much length as you can through your spine. You're pressing your weight up toward the hips, then down into the heels. Come back to plank pose and come onto your right forearm and then onto your left forearm. Bring your right knee toward the right tricep and then left knee toward the left tricep. So the right leg comes out to the right. Try and touch your right tricep. Left leg out to the left and try and touch. We'll keep going back and forth, right side and stretch it out. Left side and stretch it out. Right and back and the left side and back. Keep lifting the belly, keep your breath. Right and back. Exhale the left, inhale, stretch back. Press yourself up to plank pose and chaturanga. Inhaling up dog or cobra. Exhaling all the way to down dog. Right leg floats up. Bend the knee. Open up your hip. Press evenly through your arms and your shoulders. Reach your left heel toward the floor. Square off your hips. Step it all the way up. Back foot is flat. Coming into warrior two. Make sure your front heel lines up with the back arch. Drop the left arm reverse. Bend into the right knee a little. Knee over second toe. Inhale, come up. Exhale, windmill the arms. Chaturanga. Keep that right leg up as you slowly lower down. Pausing in Chaturanga. Then inhale, press into up dog. Exhale, make your way back into down dog. Float the left leg up. Bend the knee. Open up your hip. Still lengthening through the spine. Reach your right heel toward the floor. Stretch out your whole body. Square off your hips and look up, look up. Step the foot lightly between the hands. Spin the back heel flat for warrior two. And gazing over the fingertips, drop your left hip down. Lift your back inner thigh up. Reverse, rebend into the left knee. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, windmill down. Sweep your left leg back. Lift it off the floor. Slowly lower. Hug your elbows in. If that doesn't work for you. You can take the other knee down. Inhale, press up. Cobra or up dog, always your choice. Exhale, stretch yourself back into downward facing dog. Breathing here. And look forward, coming to plank pose. And then back onto the left forearm and onto the right forearm. Reach the crown of your head forward, step your feet together, and roll to the pinky toe side of your right foot. On your right forearm, lift your left arm up. Try and stack your hips right on top of each other. So your top hip usually needs to come a little bit forward. Keep stretching up and reaching the tailbone toward the heels. We'll stay for a couple more breaths. We're gonna hold this one. It's about a 30 second hold, I think. So keep your breath steady. Just know it's going to be over shortly. We're almost done. Draw the shoulder blades away from the ears. Come back into dolphin plank. And then feet together, go to the left side. Left forearm is down, reach up through the right fingertips. Try and bring your top hip a little bit forward. So if it's hard to balance, instead of stacking your feet on top of each other, you can always take your top foot in front of the bottom foot. And that way you will have a little more balance. And try and keep the hips level as you can. 
Nice, steady breathing. Just a few more breaths. Looking up toward the top hand, if that feels okay on your neck. And back into Dolphin Plank. Press up to Plank, Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra or Upward Dog. And exhale back into Downward Dog. So our roommate just left. And I don't know if you noticed, I don't know if you even heard it, but there was no squeaking. I finally bought some WD-40. I know some of you might be disappointed, but I just couldn't, I couldn't take it anymore. It's been way too long. <laughs> so anyway, just thought I'd give you the heads up. Look forward, step or float your feet up, inhale and lengthen, exhale and fold. Press through the feet, inhale, stretch all the way up, exhale, samastitihi. Take your feet hips width apart, and then take your right foot anywhere above or below your knee, and drop your right hip down as you squeeze your left hip in. Inhale, reach the arms up, spin your triceps forward, rikshasana tree pose. So it does help to engage the core muscles to help with this balance. So lift your belly in and up, tailbones reaching down, and keep a nice steady gaze. Point your knee to the front of your mat, extend the leg out, and this is definitely core work. Pull the belly in and breathe here for three, and two, and one, and zero, <laughs> and two more breaths. That's right, I forgot we held this one for about 10 breaths, so you got just a couple more. Oh, that's it. Bend the knee, take your right foot from the outside, try and line up your knees and bring your right heel towards your hip. Stretch out the front of your quad. Take a couple breaths and release it. All right, ground down through the right leg. We'll pick up the left leg and take it anywhere above or below your knee. So you can take it below, you can take it above. Press the foot into the leg and press the leg back into the foot. If you wobble, if you fall out, no worries, just come back in. I do it all the time. Inhale, add the arms when you're ready. Triceps spinning forward. Again, keep your nice steady gazing point. And keep pinning your right hip in towards center. Now point the knee toward the front of the mat, extend the leg out and hold it up. So you don't have to hold it up high, you can hold it just a little bit off the floor. But try and keep dropping your left hip down toward the floor as you pin your right hip in towards center. Pull up firmly on the belly, keep the standing leg very active, pull up on that kneecap and stretch through the arms. You have some nice energy that reaches out through your fingertips. and. Bending that knee, that left knee, take the left hand to the pinky toe side of the foot and point the knee down. Just stretch out your quad muscles, your fronts of your thighs. And we'll release back to Utkatasana on your inhale. Take a chair pose. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, look up to lengthen. Exhale. Step or float back into Chaturanga. Inhaling, press through your hands and feet and exhale to Downward Dog. Inhale, float the right leg up as you exhale. Knee toward the nose, rock your shoulders over the wrists. A little rounding in the upper back, but you can keep the crown of the head reaching forward. Pull the belly in firmly. Step the right foot up, stay on the ball of your back foot. Crescent pose, high lunge. Pull your right hip back and let it drop down. And pin your left hip in towards center. Bring your arms out to a T. Reach your right arm back, extend the left arm forward, and then back to center. So turning, and then back to center. We'll use our oblique muscles, our side abs. Turn, and back to center. Use the core muscles to keep your balance. Turn, and back to center. Turning from the waist up, and back to center. Reach your arms up, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg up, inhale. Exhale, draw it in and hold it here. Press away from the floor. A little rounding the upper back, but keep the crown of the head reaching forward. Shoulders are right over the wrists. Press away from the floor and lift your belly. Step the left foot up, stand the ball of your back foot. Come back up into crescent. Try and drop the left hip down and pull it back. Right leg extends, drop the tailbone down. Arms to a T, left arm back, stretch the right arm forward. Inhale to center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center, extend the spine. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Use those abdominal muscles to help you twist without falling. Reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to the mat. Chaturanga. Inhale to press up. Exhale, back to plank. Add an extra chaturanga. Press up and lift to down dog. You can always skip that chaturanga or take your knees down. Come to plank and lower slowly to the floor. Bring your arms by your ears. Press all your toenails onto the floor and then lift the legs straight up. Reach your arms forward. Pick up your belly away from the floor. Lift your hip points up towards your lower ribs and spin your inner thighs up toward the ceiling as your outer hips drop down toward the floor. Keep the back of your neck really long as you breathe into your chest. Hands by ribs, inhale, press into up dog or cobra, and exhale back into down dog. Remember, you can always push pause and take a break if you need one. Take a child's pose whenever you like. Inhale, float the right leg up. Exhale, bring it forward, shoulders over wrists again. Hug the leg in toward the belly. Keep lifting the belly away. Take it up by the right hand, stand the ball of the back foot, crescent pose. And then hands to heart, and we'll hook the left arm across for a twist. As you inhale, reach through the crown of the head, see if you can lengthen out your spine. As you exhale, Either stay where you are or take the left hand to the floor and the right arm up to go a little bit deeper into the twist. Keep reaching through your back leg. Now we're going to step your right foot on top of your left foot so you can find side plank. You can always take your bottom knee down. Shoulders are in line. Try and stack your hips on top of each other. The left inner elbow spins slightly toward the front of the mat and stretch up through the, the top hand. Look up if it's okay on your neck. Tailbones reaching to heels and keep the belly drawing in and up as you breathe. And release the hand to your side. Come back to plank. Chaturanga. Inhaling up. Exhale back into down dog and we'll do the left side. Left leg back and up, inhale. <clears throat> Exhale, step it through. And reach up into crescent pose. So again, pull the left hip back. Make sure your left knee's over the ankle. Take the hands to heart. Get length first and then hook your right arm across. Press your palms toward the center of the chest as you widen across your collarbones. And try to bring your shoulder blades toward your chest. So you can stay there or exhale, right hand toward the floor, left arm up. This gets a little deeper into the twist. But in a way, it's a little easier to have that hand on the floor, so keep it there lightly. Unwind, and then we're going to step your right foot on top of the left. You can always take your right knee down, your left foot on top of the right. I said it wrong. Side plank, other side. Stretch up through the top arm. Inner right elbow spinning toward the front of the mat slightly and get that shoulder right into its socket. And then take it to the side, take it to plank, chaturanga. Inhaling up and exhaling back. Remember, child's pose is always, always an option. Right leg floats up. Exhale, step it forward and then take the feet to parallel. 
As you inhale, look up and lengthen your spine. And as you exhale, fold forward. Hips over the heels, so shift the weight slightly forward toward the balls of your feet. If you happen to have a headstand practice and you want to come up, that's fine. Lift the shoulders up away from the ears. Inhale halfway up. Exhale, walk your hands to the front and move their chaturanga. Inhale, press into up dog. Exhale, back to down dog. Left leg up, step it forward, parallel your feet, walk your hands. Take your big toes or you can hold up someplace on your legs. Lengthen, inhale, exhale, Prasrita Padottanasana D. So firm the leg muscles all the way up into the hip sockets. Outer hips are pinning in and our thighs are moving toward each other like you've got a giant beach ball that you're holding between your legs. Shoulders lift away from the floor. Lengthen, inhale, walk your hands back to the front. Step back, chaturanga, inhaling up. Exhale, back into down dog. And again, stretching back, come back to your steady breath. Inhale to plank, feet together, and roll to the pinky toe side of the right foot, and to lift up through the left arm. Lift your left leg up, holding here. Just a breath or two. Then keep that leg off the floor, come to plank, and swing that left leg forward, and then make circles one way, and circles the other way. Now keep the leg off the floor again. Come back into plank with that leg up, and then back into side plank to the first side. Reach up through the left arm, now pick up that left leg again as slowly as you can. Step it all the way to the front of the mat quietly. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, stay on your hands or forearms down or forearms on a block. Back knee can be down. If that was a little too confusing, push pause, rewind, and you could try it again if you'd like. That's the cool thing about doing videos. You can do them over and over if you want to. So nice hip stretch here. If your knee goes out to the side, let your toes go out too. Step back to plank, chaturanga. Inhaling up. Exhaling back. Now we'll do the other side. So now you know what you're in store for. Come to plank. <clears throat> Feet together. Roll to the pinky toe side of your left foot. Reach the right arm up. Stack the hips, now right leg up. Hold it up for a moment. I'm gonna keep that right leg up. As you take your right hand to the floor in plank pose, and now you'll lift your left arm up and take that left foot flat on the floor. Make some circles with the right leg one way and circles the other way. Keep that right leg up some more. Come back to plank and first side onto the pinky toe side of the left foot, side plank. Lift the right leg up in slow motion, slowly as you can. Step it all the way forward. Take your hands on the inside of that foot. Lengthen the spine, inhale, and exhale. Coming down to the forearms or stay up on the hands. Your right knee might go out to the right, it's okay as long as you turn your toes that way as well. Stretching through the back leg, your knee can be down as you continue your steady breathing. And then if you're on your forearms, walk yourself back up and step back to plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhaling to press up, stretch the front of the body. Exhale, make your way all the way back into down dog. And then look forward, step or hop through and sit right down. Extend the legs, sitting up in Dandasana. Toes are lifting toward the ceiling, flex your ankles. And then press your hands by your hips, lift up, and try and pull your hips back, and then slide them forward. Hands forward, I mean, sorry, hands back, lift up into Porsvottanasana. You can do that with your knees bent as well. And coming down, only one today. <coughs> Lie on your back bridge. Feet hips width apart, come on up. You can interlace your fingers or keep your palms flat. 
Spiral the thighs in toward each other. Reach your tailbone toward the backs of your knees and keep your neck long. Breathing into your chest. I'm going to hold this one a little bit because this pose is great for strengthening the backs of the legs, the hamstrings. And since this is a core class, that's part of the core muscles. And we do a lot of stretching of the hamstrings, but not a whole lot of strengthening. So come on down, take a rest, soles the feet together, knees apart. And just breathing here. <coughs> Coming up again. This time, step your feet a little closer together. Bring your right knee into your chest and lift it up. And then lower your hips and lift them. You don't have to have your legs straight. You can bend it. Lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower the hips. Exhale, lift them up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. We're still working those hamstrings. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Lower the hips down. Exhale, lift them up. And lower the hips and lift. Release that leg. Left knee into chest. Extend it up. Lower the hips. Exhale, lift them. You can have your knee bent or straight. Lower the hips. Exhale, lift. Lower and lift. Lower. Keep pressing into that right heel. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Lower down. Lift up. Lower and lift up. Feet to the floor. Come on down. Soles of feet together. Knees apart and rest. Take a couple breaths. And then bend the knees. Arms by your sides for bridge or hands up by the ears for urdhva. If you're in urdhva, make sure your elbows are parallel and the outer edges of your feet are parallel either in bridge or urdhva. Spiral the thighs toward each other and breathe into the chest. Come on down to rest and hug your knees in. Let's give yourself a little rock side to side and then start to rock back and forth, back and forth and come up to seated. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, hinge from your hips. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to extend. Get some length in the spine. Continue to reach forward. Inhale, head up, exhale, release. And then lie back. Try your right knee into your chest. And then take it across and twist to look over your right shoulder as the right knee goes to the left. Come back to center, left knee into chest, and take it across to the right side, look over the left shoulder. Mm, breathing here. Come through center again. Mm, extend your legs out for Shavasana. Make sure that your tailbone's reaching toward the heels. Take your arms out by the sides with your palms up. Close your eyes and rest. So I'll take a, a little time to rest. And I'll be back in a moment.
As we continue going through the eight limbs of yoga, we are on the fifth limb today, and the fifth limb of yoga is called pratyahara. And pratyahara means withdrawal or withdrawal of the senses. So during our yoga practice, when we come onto our mats, we try and keep our focus inward. So as we're moving from pose to pose, if someone should happen to come through the room or we might hear noises outside or other distractions, we try to keep our attention inward and not attached to those distractions. And as we do this, we can start to objectively observe ourselves because we bring ourselves within so much that we get to know ourselves really well. We can objectively observe our cravings or our other habits that might not be so good for us and so that we can grow and continue to we'll be healthy. Pratyahara, sense withdrawal. begin to just brush your thumb on the pads of your fingers. Start to move your hands and your feet. Bigger breaths, reawakening your body. Take your arms overhead for a stretch. Reach through your legs. And then bend your knees and roll off to your right side, pausing for gratitude for all of our blessings. And then we'll make our way up to seated. Take a comfortable seated position. Bring your hands together in Anjali Mudra, Mudra of reverence. Hands to the forehead, reminding us to have clear and loving thoughts. Take our hands to the heart, reminding us to have clear and loving intentions. And we'll take our hands to the mouth, reminding us to have clear and loving communications. Let's send out this wonderful energy to all beings everywhere. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. And again, I really, really thank you for all of your supports, your beautiful comments. Thank you for sharing these classes and thank you for subscribing. Thank you for telling all of your friends and thank you so much for donating. This really helps us to continue our mission to get our yoga practices out to as many people as possible and we can all experience the wonderful benefits of yoga. So thank you, and I will see you tomorrow, day 80. Oh my goodness. Have a great rest of your day. And bye-bye. <laughs>